all the colors of Space Marines. Spiky Bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are on the scene in the Dark Bunny Creative Studio. I got Phil with me today. What's up, Phil? Hello. And uh, we got all the colors of the Space Marines. Tell me, tell me something about what's going on with all this. Well, uh, we thought today would be a good opportunity just to show a bunch of the different ways that we do Space Marines. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got obviously uh, Ultramarines on the right here. We have yep. Space Wolves over to the left, and on oh, yeah. the center is a custom chapter. Um, that we were asked to do. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the client already had an idea color-wise, and he asked us to, to give the dark bunny touch, as you could say. So, um, slight, I think it's part of the back story is a little bit of like a Desert Storm sort of feel to it. Sure. So that is the reason why the Repulsor is a little bit more simplistic in terms of the colors. We didn't overload it with a bunch of accents and things. We wanted mm -hmm. to give it that Desert Storm feel. Um, but yeah, so that, that's sort of the premise going on. Um, so all the different types of colors that you could you could want for marines. Mm -hmm. um, what a, so what level are these painted? I know these characters up front are painted a little a little nicer. Yeah, well they are characters, so we give them a little bit of an extra touch. But they are all adept. Uh -huh. So the, everything here is adept for all three armies. Um, the ultramarines are a bit. Uh, I still have a little bit more work in progress. Mm -hmm. And then we actually do have some epic characters for them, oh, yeah. um, but they are not 100% finished. So here's one of the, the Phobos Librarian. Um, he's getting close, but he still has a little bit more work. I like to the do. camo on that. That's yeah, the camo series is a little cool. bit of touch, but the uh, armor kind of has a non-metallic effect going on. So we we strengthen those the contrast there to mm -hmm. make it really pop a little uh, a lot more. Um, the weapon gets a little bit more work. So here's an example, like here's the Adept weapon. Mm -hmm. So Adept's a little simpler, Epic would be the next step up from that. Okay. Um, and oh so, yeah, you yeah. can see it. Nice. Yeah. You got some other duders over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. The other yeah. hobos? Yeah, you can see there's still a little work to do on like, that skull and all that, but everything else has uh, gotten some rendering done and getting yeah. pretty close. Oh, very cool, um, yeah. yeah. No, those ultras look great. I really like the color on the Space Wolves too. It's very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. It's actually uh, sea wolves, which we had no idea what those were prior to this. Well, so I'll to it was learn. our first try, uh, or our first yeah, hearing like about that. them. But we, they basically have a more of a turquoise shoulder inlay. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only. We only had a reference of the uh, the shoulder pads, so we made work, do with what we had and uh, added the uh, you know the main armor color and stuff to to keep that cool gray. That is a little bit more you know, in line with what Space Wolves typically have. Yeah. No, I like this. I like the uh, you used all the upgrade sprues too. It looks mm -hmm. like yeah. Got some Space top knots and things. Yep. Yep. Nice little power power sword uh, or power axe. Yeah. And power that sword. That guy's from the uh, what was it? Uh, dead. Uh, what was um, the Eldar on Space Wolves? That's one of the nine to twelve Space Wolves <laughs> Space Marine <laughs> Lieutenant models out there. Yep. The only the only model any of us care about. <laughs> Nah, this, this looks great with the little the basing and the, all the mm -hmm. snow. I love snow effects. Yeah, snow is a, is a. It's easy to do and it course. looks good. <laughs> this grab or this uh, sand looks great too. Mm -hmm. I'm really digging these characters up front. I'm gonna turn this so we can see him. Yeah, good old ancient. That was the second ancient, so we decided uh, need to give him a little bit of a different loadout. Looks mm -hmm. slightly different, um, but yeah, and then. For uh, just to show, we did magnetize. The oh yeah, you got to. So uh, the last cans are magnetized, and then we've got the uh, side weapons. Wow, you got all there. all the weapons. Holy cow! Yeah, these are magnetized with the bolters there, and then you can pop this off. Jeez, future proof your minis. Yep, just in case. You never know when those rules might change all of a sudden. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, these look great. So, pretty much, I feel like Marines are in vogue now. You're going to get a lot more uh, commissions for these guys here. So, how can people get in touch with you if they want uh, one of these colors or perhaps some uh, yellow, green, and or gray Marines? Mm -hmm. Oh, those black iron hands? Yes, those black <laughs> iron hands. Well, uh, you can reach us at darkmoneycreatives.com. You can submit a quote there on the contact us section. Mm -hmm. Uh, or you can also contact us through Facebook, Dark Money Creatives. 
uh, hit us up on Messenger. Uh, and then we also have an Instagram page as well. So we post content to Facebook and Instagram daily. Uh, so if you want to see just new fresh minis getting painted the dark bunny way, then just uh, give us a follow there.